Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Austin. I am an electrical engineering student. Uh, this is just kind of one of my fun projects that I've done on the side. Um, what, you're see, what you see here is an LED matrix uh, that is seven LEDs long by six tall. Uh, it is controlled with a PS2 mouse and an Arduino Mega, which is hiding inside the box. We'll see that in a minute. Um, let me show you how to use it. Um, like I said, it's controlled by PS2 mouse, and it's like a cursor on a computer screen. Um, and so I've, I've programmed this actually to work with any size matrix. So you can do a 3x7 or a 4x5, you know, any size that you can fit with the number of I.O. pins you have on your board will work just fine. Um, so it's 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 neat in that respect. Um, what you're seeing right now is it's, it's in a dead spot. I have one dead spot programmed in here, so that you know, should you want all of them to be black, you can hide it. And that's actually the only spot. Um, what's unique about this navigation program is that once I get to an edge, it stops. Uh, so I can keep moving left, and it's not going to go left. And I can go all the way to the right, and I keep moving right. Oops, I moved up a little bit. Keep moving right, and it's not going to you know keep moving right. Um, and it doesn't sound like much, but the way that the little computer, this this microcontroller, understands things is that these are all just numbers. So when I get to six number here, and this is seven, it doesn't know that it's it's supposed to stop at seven. So, or it's supposed to stop at six. Um, and like I said, I programmed it to work on any any size matrix that you can fit on your board. So uh, it's it's never it's never not going to work. Um, Let's see, uh, I, I've written a paint program for it, so if I hold down my left mouse button and drag it along, let's see, let's make an O, and oops, there's erase on here as well, O and a T, I don't know what that stands for, OT, OT, there we go. Um, so you can do simple shapes, letters, characters, what have you. Uh, I've got a couple demo features on here. Uh, the first one is a spiral, and this one is the the only part of this program that will not work on other size matrix. Um, is this spiral program um, because the, the the way the navigation works is there's literally an up command. So it's up, right, down, down, left, 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 up, and so that's not going to work on a on any other matrix. So you know I have it set up only to work for this one. Um, however, you can program it to work really easily as well. Um, there are a couple features on here that you can't see, uh, which are, I call them the bumper features, where if you're all the way to the left and you keep moving left, it would blink four or five times, depending on how many times you told it to, or the same with, if you're on the bottom, you try to move down, or top and moved up. Um, I have it switchable, so you can turn them on and off. Um, the sensitivity, uh, how much you have to move the mouse, is adjustable as well. Um, Let's see. Oh, there's one other feature on here, the program that I've written. Let me fill this in right quick. Maybe. It's hard to do with the camera. All right, good enough. Uh, it just turns them off. <laughs> nothing, nothing, but, you know, very fancy, but it turns them off faster than watching the spiral go through. All right, so let's take a look at the wiring here. Now, this was the most time-consuming part. Um, because each of these has their own wire that runs into their own I.O. port. Um, I'm colorblind, which makes this even worse, uh, so I kind of had to pick a few colors that I could see all right enough to do this with. Um, let's see if you can see, I also have uh, colors electrical tape uh, to try to denote different the, the, the different rows. Uh, so, kind of a weird color coding scheme. I don't care to explain it right now. Um, I also have these all color coded as well. This is the Arduino Mega. Uh, awesome little board. If you have the if you have the cash for it, and a shoebox. Now, uh, let me say something about these LEDs as well. These are all um, LED Christmas lights. So, if you can go shopping right after the holidays, um, you can get them for real cheap. It's like two bucks for a hundred of them. Um, I have an instructable on how to get this out. Uh, I believe it's called um, how to get LEDs for pennies or something like that. I don't recall. And that is my LED matrix box. Um, oh, one more thing before I go. I'm going to make a couple games. Um, the first one, let me wipe this real quick. Uh oh, I disconnected it. Well, my mouse is finicky. Um, 
my other games are or games. I haven't really made them yet. Uh, one of them is going to be a, a Frogger type game. Um, you're going to be a little cursor. There'll be cars that go through. You have to try to go through. Um, the second one is going to be type a type of maze. And so you'll start over at one of the corners or edges, and your goal is to get to the other side. So it'll have a set path that you have to follow, and if you go the wrong way, it'll blink, buzz, I don't know quite what I'm going to do with that yet, and it'll start you over. So you have to memorize the path as you go through here. There are a few different, uh, few different difficulties, and so that, I don't know, it's a simple game, simple game, I uh, just program and exercise mainly. Um, I'm also going to see if I can get... Uh, if I can find a way to do a scrolling program. Um, so, uh, if you've seen the LED, you know, scrolling bars, you know, you can display messages and stuff on here, uh, which it, I, I don't have a very high resolution, but, uh, you know, it still would be kind of fun to program regardless. So, that is my LED matrix box. Um, I'll publish the code, and I should have some links up where to find the code. So, all right, have a good one.